Hello everyone, welcome to Auricular Medicine, brought to you by LAMP AccuWellness Foundation, Inc. Our topics today are points of anti-helix screws and points on the back of the ear. There are five points of the superior anti-helix screws which correspond to the points of the lower limb, the toe, heel, and ankle. Point 76, 77, and 78 are most easily located in relation to each other. In looking at the left ear of a person, these points form an inverted L. Point 76 is the toe point. This is the most lateral point found where the inverted L begins. The toe point is used for diverse toe problems like fractures, bunions, hammer toes, arthritis. Point 77 is the heel point at the junction of two strokes that form the L. The heel point is good for heel problems, calcaneal spurs, heel pain. Point 78 is the ankle point. This is inferior to the heel point where the inverted L ends. Very effective for ankle problems, breaks, sprains, swelling. Point 79 is the knee point, area superior to where the superior anti-helix screws intersects with the inferior anti-helix screws. The knee point is the key point for knee crepitation achiness, weakness, cold knees, disorders involving knee ligaments or knee joint, or for circulation problems around the knee. Point 80 is the lumbago point, exactly at the intersection of superior and inferior anti-helix crura. The lumbago point is an excellent, highly clinical effective point for low back pain in the lumbar region. This was knee point in earlier literature. Now, the knee area is above the lumbago point. There are three points of the inferior anti-helix screws. These represent the points of the lower limb. Point 81 is sciatic nerve at the medial end of inferior anti-helix screws. The sciatic nerve point is quick-acting, clinically effective, treats symptoms of compressed sciatic nerve and radiating pain down the back of the leg. Point 82 is the ischium point, just below triangular fossa in the inferior anti-helix screws, slightly medial to Botox point. The ischium point is for problems originating from the buttocks, sciatica, or problems pertaining to the ischium, lower portion of the hip bone. Point 83 is the buttocks point, just below the triangular fossa in the inferior anti-helix cruise, slightly lateral to ischium point. The buttocks point is for ischium or other gluteal problems, horn muscles, a local point for sciatica. The 10 points of the lower anti-helix screws represent the thoracic cavity. Point 84 is the abdomen point, area on the lower anti-helix screws roughly parallel to liver and pancreas gallbladder points. The abdomen point is for general, diffuse, specific abdominal problems used alone or for reinforcement in combination with large intestine point or appendix point. Point 85 is the chest point, area in the lower anti-helix screws parallel to stomach point. Some describe chest point as level with supratragic notch. The chest point is very good for chest tightness, shortness of breath, asthma, cough, cold, used singularly or in combination with mammary points, lung, and heart. 
Points 86 and 87 are the mammary points. Located below the chest area parallel to the center of spleen point. Two mammary points positioned side by side. The mammary points are good for fibrocystic breast disease, breast distension, and tenderness. Point 88 is the neck point. Lower anti-helix screws parallel to curvature of anti-helix above anti-tragos. The neck point is a fast working point for treating stiff neck, torticollis, cervical disease, misaligned vertebrae. Point 89, throat and teeth, below the neck point, slightly above the occiput point. Good for tonsillitis, sore throat, constriction in the throat, or tooth problems in general. Points 90 to 93 are called the spinal points, the sacral, lumbar, thoracic, cervical vertebrae. These spinal points are effective for adjusting vertebrae in associated portion of the spinal cord. The spinal points treat the nerves originating from corresponding portions of the spinal cord that innervate organs and dermatomal areas. Spinal points are found along the spine of the ear or the medial edge of the inferior and lower anti-helix crura. Point 90, sacral vertebrae, the area that extends from the most medial portion of inferior anti-helix screws about parallel to the end of the bladder point. The lumbar vertebrae point extends from the end of sacral vertebrae to roughly parallel to the middle of liver area. Point 92 is thoracic vertebrae point. Goes from the end of lumbar vertebrae to just above curvature of the lower anti-helix screws. Point 93 is cervical vertebrae point. Extends from the end of thoracic vertebrae to the end of curvature of the lower anti-helix screws. Some sources recommend locating vertebral points in the following way. Draw a line from the lower portion of the rectum point, point number 57, to where it intersects with the anti-helix. The area superior to the line is the lumbosacral area. Draw a line. The area superior to it is the thoracic area, and the area beneath it is cervical area. The sacral, lumbar, thoracic, and cervical vertebrae are effective for adjusting vertebrae in associated portion of the spinal cord. Treats nerves originating from corresponding portions of the spinal cord that innervate organs and dermatomal areas. Point 94 is the vagus root. Depression just above the ear root, where the ear attaches to the head above the tendon. To locate, gently pull the ear laterally. This will isolate the tendon to assist in locating the point. The point is in the depression above the tendon. Sometimes this point is called by its Chinese name, Ermigan. The vagus root point is a strong point to regulate functions and organs of middle jaw, which vagus nerve largely supplies. Very good for gastralgia, helps expel gallstones, headaches, asthma, stomach ache, palpitations, bowel problems, areas that vagus nerve, the longest cranial nerve in the body, innervates. Where the vagus nerve enters the ear to innervate it, from there it goes to the lung points. Points 95 to 97, the upper back, middle back, and the lower back along the spiny middle portion of the back of the ear. The upper back point is on the top. Middle back point is in the middle. The lower back point is on the bottom. The upper back, middle back, lower back points correspond to back problems. 
For added reinforcement, use these points with corresponding back points on the front of the ear. For example, use the upper back on the back of the ear with the upper thoracic vertebrae on its anterior surface. Point 98 is the lower blood pressure groove. Groove-like depression on the back of the ear formed by posterior border of the helix runs the length of the upper third of the groove. The lower blood pressure groove is a powerful groove used to lower high blood pressure, especially when the groove is bled. Point 99 is the superior root of the ear, posterior aspect of the ear at the intersection of the superior part of the auricle with the face. This point treats hemiplegia. Point 100 is spinal cord point, posterior aspect of the ear at the superior border of the inferior auricular root for muscular atrophy and paralysis. Thank you very much for your attention and see you in our next videos.